Hello, everybody. Good to be with you again. Uh, Kenton, I've got Kenton back today. And as, you, as, as some of you know, most of you probably know, um, I have brought Ken, Kenton aboard as, uh, the, as an associate teacher of the Living Method of Awakening. And he's available now or, um, to go ahead and book sessions for November. Kenton will be doing clarity sessions. He won't be doing awakening sessions just now. Um, Kenton has an incredible background. Uh, he was in the, with um, the Adyashanti lineage for 10 years, a teacher in that lineage for 10 years, um, spent a couple of years on his own and then came to me this, uh, this past year. We spent a lot of time together and um, it's, it, there's been yet another level of clearing, which is always helpful. Yeah. And it was sort of that place that, um, but I knew, I've actually knew from the first conversation that, that this was probably the guy because I've been looking for somebody that was younger that could carry this teaching forward so that it lasts longer than I do. And, um, I landed a whale. He's, he's great. He's, uh, he's incredibly smart. He's a uh, professional writer and he's just oh, as awake as can be. And he's also a very good um, communicator verbally. So he's just got everything I was looking for. And I get to, I get to learn how to teach. And you get to learn how to teach now. That's right. That's it. So, which is a great thing because we don't have actually, we don't, we don't have any kind of formal setting yeah. for that. Non-duality is so loose. And so this way, by, by doing sessions and, and um, doing work in satsang, because you're, plenty of way to help people and it's um it's just a matter of uh learning some of the just learning some of the finer points just like yeah. I, just like I yeah. there's a there's a skill set that seems like gives the the clarity um potency yeah that's right so and that's what we'll be and that's what we'll be we'll be going over because what 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 kenton just said i want to post it on the site what kenton just said in our conversation prior to this was would you repeat that sentence? Definitely. Um, so the, the punchline is, my feeling is that, you know, this teaching is really a re response to and an, uh, and an antidote to really just an oversaturating, um, you know, oversaturation of non-dual teachings. That's right. They're so, uh, they're just, they're, they're so available. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's many people have the experience of just consuming all of these teachings mm -hmm. um, with, with no real impact. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and so naturally there's a, um, you become almost habituated or acclimatized or immune really mm -hmm. um, to the clearest, mm -hmm. most potent pointing. Mm -hmm. um, and so more of the same is clearly not going to do it. Going to do it. Right. So, we need, we need to take a different approach. And, um, and that's, that's, that's really where I see the, um, the great value and appropriateness of. of and that was the greatest. And that was the, the greatest description of this teaching that I ever heard. And really it was. And just, I just, as soon as you said it, I knew, Oh my God, there it is. And that's, ex that's exactly right. So we Kent and I were going to talk, we've got several things that we we're uh, going to talk about today. Um, <clears throat> the first thing we we're going to talk about was, uh, awakening uh, versus embodiment and the the, the really Im the, i think the the most important thing about the, our journey to you know, the, this is all languaging and none of oh, it, yeah. none of oh, it's yeah. true but all of it's truish and so the the our journey toward a toward from awakening to embodiment i mean that's the name of one of my the subtitle of one of my books is awakening to embodiment yep. is that the most important thing is to figure out who it is that's embodying what, because the, the seeker, it's always that the person that's sort of the character or personality, who we think we are that a uh, uh, prior to awakening that wants to awaken. Fred wanted to wake up. Kenton wanted to wake up. Neither one of them did. Right. Never. Exactly. And, and cannot, <laughs> will not, because there's, there's no capacity for that to happen. Right. The, I can, I can, go ahead and I can wake up this tin can just as fast. So <clears throat> is 
And it's the same way with embodiment. And we can get reconfused after awakening because awakening is the opportunity. It's the ticket to the dance. It's, but it ain't the dance. It's the opportunity to clear. You have been invited to clear up, but it doesn't mean you will. So what I want to just notice is that what is going to embody is that the, the, the character is not going to embody awakening. The, the drop is not going to embody the ocean or take in the ocean, which is what it thinks. And that's why it's going to be extinguished. And all of totally. That. Right. It's right. Nothing like that. Drop, is. drop cannot absorb the ocean. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's exactly the opposite, yeah. which is that the, which is the, the ocean is going to absorb the drop, but you maintain dropness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that, you know, the, the, Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just sort of share what's been going on with me lately in the conversation we had about this because it was, you know, extremely impactful. Um, you know, the, sort of the, the, the experience of reality um, without the filter of self um, can, you know, it sort of has, a, has an impact. Mm -hmm. um, and that impact um, should, can sort of, un the impact unfolds, right? And, you know, the, Plenty, plenty of experiences can be can be had, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a whole you know that's a whole conversation. And mm -hmm. you know, every system, you know, everyone's different, and what you know. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, sometimes it can be quite intense. Yeah. And um, there have been you know periods here where it was quite intense. Oh yeah. Um, you know, and and it can even activate some really base level sort of survival fear where the body kind of feels like it's under threat. Let me break in and say that that in our yeah. earlier conversations, Kenton was like Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Because, yeah. Because, and, I, and, and and I've seen it before, so I didn't I didn't comment on it, but but it's it's not common, but I certainly have seen it before where it's just that intense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, there, there were, um, you know, there lots of uh, very intense experiences where it just feels like fiery electric liquid is just working on the body, you know, just, it, you know, just really, really intense stuff, right? Um, and it sounds super spiritual and wow, and it, no. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what we're doing is we're lay, we're laying out bait now for right. everybody to duplicate Kenton's experience. Yeah, yeah. nope, nope, yeah, no, nope, please, no, nope. <clears throat> not not necessary. And right. there's just you know you never know you know what you're in for, and you know whatever is sort of needs to happen to clear you know to clear is what's gonna happen, mm -hmm. and what needs to happen is always you know is never the same for you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to kind of body minds. So, um, you know, so, so there's been a lot of intensity, um, not comfortable, um, to say the least. And, you know, because it was so intense and, you know, because it was activating this fear, the view, there was an attachment to the view of what we're, of what you just said, which is the view is like, you know, the drop, this thing is trying to absorb the ocean. And so there's overwhelm in that, right? Because it's clearly seen that that's not possible, right? Yeah. It just, it feels completely overwhelming. And um, the, the conversation that, you know, we had recently about that was, was, was very helpful because it did what this, you know, it sort of did what this teaching does, which was to invite a shift in perspective. Yeah. From, from where is that experience being experienced yeah. right and the body yeah. is no different right? right just an experience and so the question is from where is that being experienced and seeing the um it's a it, the you know sh sort of shifting from the drop trying to absorb the ocean to you know the the absorption just sort of the drop being the ocean there's no separation it's you know because the because because there's no Fred there to embody awakeness. Yeah, right, exactly. Just and that's and that's what's seen in awakening, but it can very quickly.
be forgotten as we move toward embodiment. Yeah. You know, because the mind will always translate an awakening into saying, you know, yeah. well, Fred woke up and he's got this thing. And now, you know, my next thing is an embodiment. I want, you know, and, and I'll be like Adishanti or somebody. Yeah. And it, totally. I'm well on my way. And it's just, yeah. it's, and, and that's certainly possible, but it won't be because you, that, that character embodied awakening. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, um, so the embodiment process has been going on for you for how long? So another kind of observation that I wanted to make, and this is not original, but I think it's important that, you know, folks can get very sequential in, in the sort of their, their map of, yes. of, you know, how this works, right? First comes love, then comes marriage, you know, kind of like, mm -hmm. and it's just not how that's, that's very rarely, yeah. you know, an accurate map. Right. And so, um, there's just, there's been this kind of leapfrogging kind of iterative process of seeing the truth with a certain level of clarity, you know, the, the sort of transformative energetic, you know, embodiment stuff. And then it, you know, they're just waves and one after the other, and it's very hard to separate. Uh, but really, um, they started kind of together. Hmm. Um, and, um, yeah, so it's not as though it was like there. I had an awakening in nineteen whatever, and then it's been in. It's just not right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you would say. So it was that was, that was the reason I asked you how okay, long. Good. Like uh, since day one. <laughs> right. 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 Exactly. Right. And really, and it's and that can be their experience. And for for everybody, it's a little bit of the experience. For you, it's been more pronounced than it yeah than it is in most cases definitely based on my experience but the embodiment yeah. presses you know the thing is is that what when i got into aa when i had been there about two weeks you know my only problem with aa was that everybody was treating me like i was two weeks sober <laughs> <laughs> instead of like i was five years sober which is what i felt like right, right. and i wanted everybody to treat me like that right and when we um, and when we, I didn't, but I wasn't willing to wait the five years that I had to, of course. So the same thing here is that we all want to start at the top, the because the characters are there. I've said this before, but they're so interested in graduating that they refuse to go to school. Yeah. And this process is what we're talking. I mean, I was, I'm in school. I haven't graduated. And, 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 and don't want to graduate, uh, we, we can't imagine the, such a, I mean, no, it's not possible. I mean, the one who tells you they graduated is just telling you I just lost what I had. Yep. So it's, coming to, what we're talking about embodiment, I just lost it. Oh, that's all right. Maybe I could just sort of pick up where on the kind of the graduating thing you know this this sort of touches on a conversation that we had recently too that when when there's conscious awakeness mm -hmm. there's automatically beginner's mind right mm -hmm. um because there's just inherent to 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 that is is just this freshness and no nothingness and in the sense that's just really just yeah i mean it's in, it, it's inherent to clarity itself and um And, you know, and there's no one to graduate. And so it's the, the question is just not, it doesn't even make sense. Right. It's, it's that when, when, when the big beginner's mind is forever mind. I mean, it's exactly. just, you know, the idea is not to graduate out of beginner's mind. The idea is to stay there. Exactly. We, what we want is, the, and this, but the embodiment is, is awakening for most people. There's a little event involved or maybe little, it may be huge. Yep. Most of the time it's small. Most yep. of the time it's, Oh, I mean, it, and it may be like blow your mind for the moment, but it doesn't, right. you know, but you're, it's not angels and trumpets. It can be, but mm -hmm. frankly, the, uh, the way that, that this teaching works now is that it's so it, because it is sort of uh, pr progressive, mm -hmm. you know, what it, so that there's not a big shock. Usually it can be, but it's not usually a big shock because right. I'm not, not, that's not helpful. 
it's not really helpful. It can be confusing. And it's because the thing to recognize is that, is that what is awakening is the same thing that's what's embodying, which is awakeness itself oh, that's right. and not the character. That's right. right. Fred doesn't need to embody, well, there's no Fred, so say Fredness, but Fredness doesn't need to embody awakeness, cannot embody awakeness. And what happens is that awakeness embodies whatever area Fredness vacates. Perfect. So it's the it's it's when we get together in in every clarity session. It works on me too. It's not like I just have figured out how to get you guys to pay to keep me awake, right? I've been learning that too. Yeah, yeah right. That's it. What a gig! Isn't it? Yeah, and this teaching thing really works to yeah. kind of support ongoing clarity. Yeah, have at that. Right. Yeah. Sharp as a tack, yeah. and and uh, uh, on their dime, which is great. So, <laughs> so everybody's happy. Yep. And, um, but the, it's not a matter of clearing up a character. You know, I can't clear up a Kenton. What I can do is help you to clear Kenton out. Yeah. Right. Because it's that, it's the, it's those, it's the blind patterns that we come to see. They're just the, the things that, you, because that's what most of our life is spent in patterns where we don't pay attention. If I get in my car, you know, this is Mr. Mr. Awakeness here, and I get in my car, I'm just as likely to drive down to the grocery store a mile from here as I am to go anywhere. I'm more likely to go there. Even if I'm supposed to be going somewhere else, I will, I will find myself in the parking lot of that grocery store first, right? Yep. And it's like, oh, shit, that's right, I'm going down the road. And it's, and that's, uh, and and we, we do that through most of our lives. And this is awakening to those patterns. Yep. You know, my driving pattern doesn't seem, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm awake to the fact that I make errors there, yep. but I'm not, you know, but I still, I still go do and do that. And it's when, like that. when, when Kenton is trying to change Kenton, this patterns, right. That's uh, that, that, that doesn't, that doesn't work so well. No. Doesn't yeah, work so well. And that's that thing is that, and, and now and why we've got to try even harder. Right. And, but the thing is, is that what we have to understand is that, that understanding that there's, that, that I can't do it, that I, that I can, you know, and that trying harder is in opposition to what I'm trying to do. That's a very fine point. And that's not philosophy. That's experience. That's you right. will not understand that. That's right. And it's, understand that until you are genuinely awake and, it, and you must be presently awake. Yeah. Can't yeah, be woken up to that. You have to be presently awake in order to understand what we're talking about there. Yeah, because if, if it's just conceptualized, it's just Kenton not trying to change Kenton. Now, that's right. Kenton's now making a negative decision, which is exactly. I'm not going to do anything, and that's my new practice. That's right. Exactly right. Yeah. So, so tricky. Yeah. So it's, and that's where the, the skillful guidance of a teacher comes in very handy. And I to tell you folks, I've said it before, few people can wake up on their own, but damn near nobody can clear up on their own. I, you know, I certainly did not. And my teacher certainly did not. And my rips and the, and no teacher I had. Yeah. And, um, and you didn't. And, and it just yeah, it's across the board. I mean, it just, yeah. it takes, you know, it just, you we just got to have that one who's gone before. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. Yeah. We, we learn just how magnetic the trance is. It's the same thing that, I mean, really again, getting sober is kind of like recovery. Light. I mean, it's recovery is kind of like enlightenment light mm -hmm. because it's that same thing. You've got the sponsors, right? Yeah. Because they've gone before and you certainly get, you know, get yeah. an idiot for a sponsor, yeah. but you can, but, at, but we have them, and many of them are very, very good simply because they've been there and they've gone through exactly that. And everybody who gets sober thinks, yes, but they don't understand me. I'm the special. <laughs> and there's a word, there's a phrase for that in recovery called terminally unique, which means <laughs> <laughs> right? which, yeah, rec recovery has got some great words for stuff. <laughs> it does. It does. And there's and everybody <clears throat> that wakes up is is terminally unique but they're not yeah. terminal because it won't kill them the, right. but it's uh, the way it's unique, right. 
but yeah. it is but they're they are woefully yes yeah because they don't get, i understand i understand i understand but 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 you're what you know but you don't understand this and yes i do you know yes i do i was there i've been there and i've guided hundreds of people through that and um and it's it's i I've, I've wrote an email to somebody this week and <clears throat> probably be watching this video and <clears throat> he wrote me a an email where he was trying to present himself as being the unique case and he had a wonderful victim story and all that stuff yeah. and uh, so and he wrote john first yeah. and then and then uh, john got in touch with me and he signed up for something then he wrote me and um <clears throat> and then he wrote you yeah. and so i finally just came back and said settle down no more don't write us anymore We'll let you come to Sot Summit, no more. Because it's, you're, because, and I had to really slam him, right. which is that you're not unique. Right. You are, you know, this idea that, that, oh, you've got this victim story, that tells me that you're a human being. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. And I have, because in a, an awakening session, I call that a reset. Yeah. Where it's where I just completely changed them. And that's Absolutely. what I had to do to this guy with via email was yeah. just, do a reset, which is that, you know, if you write back, I'm going to refund your little satsang money and that's it, right? Suffering, suffering is really interesting. It's, it, I mean, in my experience, it can kind of, um, you know, so there's, you know, there's a lot, there was a lot of suffering. Um, obviously, you know, I could say the same, good Lord. Um, and, um, you know, I'm not even going to compare, but. Um, well, it doesn't compare because everybody's got their own park. Exactly. It's the park of the mind. That's right. You know, just because I physically lived in the park, it was not necessarily any worse than anybody else's bottom, if you want to it's say. Still, it's, still it's still the prison. It's still yeah. the prison. That's right. And it's always, you know, and it's, it's just the same way that, that when I was a kid telling me that there were children in the world who were starving and therefore I should like my collards was not very helpful not very convincing yeah. because it, it not was work. not about them. It was about me and my collards that I didn't That's achieve. True. Right. So it's the, it, because it really comes down to, I mean, and, and it, it, it's like, you know, well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your leukemia, you know, but my head is killing me, you know? Oh, totally. Yeah, to right. Absolutely. Right. Everything is life or death because, <laughs> You know, the me is always in in greatest peril, it's right? The one. That's right. It's right. it's it's my problems and my the nature of the me, right? Is it's my problems are, have a completely different status. Yeah, and hanging on to that idea of specialness, yeah, is what will what will actually prevent us from waking up. Yeah, and and trying to make our case as the unique one and trying to cover all of our bases and all this yeah. stuff there there's nothing sure here yeah this is the opposite of sure yeah. ever you know we, i get emails from people that where they want to us to sell them sessions don't we right right and it's like oh no 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're available for you to buy but i ain't selling you nothing there is a very powerful invitation is it that yeah there you go there you go that's all so um, let's let's talk about um, the. Uh, we wanted to talk about inquiry a little bit. Yeah. So the what is it that gives inquiry power? And you tell me. So um, we chatted about this, you know, in, in our first video a while ago, that you know inquiry didn't really have a lot of juice, you know, for for me for a long time. Um, you know the. Um, there was this sort of intermittent experience of this really potent presence. And that's kind of where it felt like all the juice was, but inquiry didn't, I mean, I was certainly aware of it, but it, it, I just didn't know how to apply it. And, and looking back and talking to you, I, you know, I, I was sure that I was, that I was this, right. I was sure that I was this body. I was sure that I was Kenton and I had heard, you know, the, the sort of the answer to the, you know, the classic, you know, who am I inquiry, right? You know, on pure consciousness, awareness or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so the combination of Kenton knowing the answer and um, just having this unquestioned 
uh, assumption that I am this body, I am this character, right, there, there, what can inquiry do? Because the whole point of inquiry, it, inquiry must rest on an openness to, uh, to question precisely that assumption. Right. And to, uh, and to, to do so in a way that's completely fresh um, and... Um, and if there, for people who are out there that are experiencing what you're talking about, which is, I've, I know the answer, and it's just not very vibrant or whatever this for me, and I get that completely. Yeah. So, but, but there's a way to come behind that. There's a, so, so, and, the, and the back door to that one is, yeah. well, who is it that knows the answer? Exactly. Right? Yeah. It's the, who is it that knows this answer? Can you find yeah. the one who knows that answer? Go look. Go see if you can find them. Yeah. And then it's like, well, I can't find them. Who is saying that? And it, it's, to, it's to ever pursue it, ever, ever back, ever back, ever, ever up, ever back, ever back. Yeah. Until the, uh, because the, the, the knowledge, well, I'm, a, I'm consciousness, mm -hmm. that's not knowledge, that's hearsay. Exactly. Right? Yes, perfect. Yes, exactly right. You know, and it's and the other thing is that, uh, is that the idea is that we we get into the knowledge grabbing business and we 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 get very knowledgeable about inquiry without doing much of it. Exactly. We, so we just in general, we do that with our books and our just all of it. It's not about it's not about knowledge. It's not about acquiring information. It's about wisdom. Yeah. That wisdom comes spontaneously. That, you know, something that, you know, an, a an aspect of, of your teaching that um, has made an enormous impact is, is the distinction between the sense of something and the truth of something. Yeah. Right? So, you know, okay, you know, uh, doing inquiry, you know, who am I? Well, I feel like, I feel like this body. I feel like Kenton. And, and that, that's where it stops, right? And so the, the, just the, the feeling of it is taken to be the truth of it. And and you have this kind of mutually reinforcing dynamic between the feeling and the belief, the feeling and the belief, and they just sort of reinforce each other. And that's what you refer to as the bubble of self-reflection. Yes. And um, the, the willingness to break that and to question that sense mm -hmm. um, just seems absolutely pivotal, absolutely central. Mm -hmm. So let's talk, just, let's just jump for just a moment and yeah. talk about the bubble of self-reflection because I, um, as you know, I got an email this morning from a wonderful student and, um, she's, and she follows everything that I do. She, I mean, she's going deep. She's doing exactly what I've advised. She reads my books. She reads the posts. She watches the video, all the videos. She does everything because, because, and she was one of those that, um, and I'm talking about Mira and, um, Hey Mira and, <laughs> the, <laughs> and, but she was one of those that was almost like Nisargadatta in the sense that Nisargadatta always said, said, well, I listened to my teacher. I believe my teacher. And when Mira came to me, when we first got together that first time, she, she just, she listened to the truth. She trusted me and she felt like a ton of bricks and, and has never, never lost that. I mean, the, the, so the reason that she doesn't know much about the bubble of self-reflection is that she's not in it. Okay. Right. So she doesn't identify with it. What are they talking about? And what I'm talking about is where everybody else is <laughs> because, and when, where she probably, where, uh, uh, surely she was when she came to me, but she doesn't remember that the that bubble of self-reflection is where is where I, I understand all of this intellectually, but it's just not my experience. Right. And that's the bubble of self-reflection yeah. right. because it's, because what you have there is oneness is declaring, I understand oneness, but I'm not having the oneness experience as oneness. Oh, really? Right, exactly. Oh, let's, really? That's right. Let's look at that. <laughs> right, let's look at that. Is that actually right. possible? You're sure, right. Yeah, and, but, and, and so, and that's one of those back doors that I talk about to this teaching, which is to come in and, and look at it. Just put the truth on it. I woke up a guy yesterday and he said, oh my God, he said, this is just so obvious. And it is. Yeah. But it has to be presented in a 
in a skillful way in order for that to happen. And what, you know, when we talk about you're not going to be doing an awakening session, every clarity session is an awakening session. Of course. Yeah. Because it's, a, it's reawakening that brightness yeah. or rejuvenating it. If it's already awake over then, then, then it's just, then it's re-energizing it. Yeah. Because, and, and, the, and the, the, the living method has what we call flips. Which is where we look at everything, you know. Everybody's pressing toward the front door, trying to get in the front door, and right, you know, change, just, change my experience. Yeah, change my experience, and it's just and let me into heaven. I'm I'm right. pushing on the door. Right. But the problem is I'm pushing on the door from the inside. Exactly right. So, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Um, I wanted so to self reflection is the intellectual place. Right. And I, it seems like an element of that, it, it just sort of, I, I don't know, I check this out with you. A version of that is, is just the sort of, um, yeah, that kind of mutually reinforcing dynamic between the felt sense of being kind of a separate person, body, whatever, and the belief. Yeah. Right. And so you, 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 you take the, the sense of it for the truth of it and, and you take the sense of it as confirming the truth of it and the truth of it to reinforcing the sense. That's of it. exactly right. You just, Ping, ping, exactly, ping, 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 ping. Exactly right. Yes, it, which is that, um, well, I know there's no Fred, right. says Fred. Right, exactly right. right. I mean, that's, that's the problem. Right. I know there's right. no Fred, but I just don't, ex but I experience a Fred, says Fred. Right, right. Exactly. And it's really, and it's the one who's claiming to know. That's where, again, this not that is that our knowledge gets in, um, it actually gets in the way. I wrote somebody else this week, said, you know, well, you know, all, all that knowledge you're claiming to have, it's standing in your way. It's not, you know, it's, it's not helping you. It's actually hurting you. And, yeah. uh, Do you but, mind if I just, yeah, I just, um, you know, this is an ongoing topic in our conversations too. It expectations about what awakening is like, right. Yeah. You know, what, <laughs> you know, and, and that's, it, this goes back to very much like I'm not having the oneness experience. Right. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I, I, you know, I, I reach out to you and I say, you know, I've never had an awakening, you know, but I, 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 what I don't say is I certainly have ideas about what that would be like. That's right. That's right. And that's why I know I'm not awake. Exactly. Cause this ain't it. This ain't it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Awakening is something other than this, isn't it? Always. Yeah, that's right. And it's going to happen real soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Probably, yeah. to, you know, well, certainly not going to happen today, but maybe tomorrow. But it's going to be awesome when it does. But it's going to be awesome when it yeah. does happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. God There's, almighty, we get, you know, and we build up this, what awakening is going to be like. We, we have somehow, let's understand something. Everybody's position is that, is that, and it was the same position that I was in prior to awakening. I had, I had never woken up before, but now I'm, 2006 thing I had something back in 92 that was I, I had woken up before but it was not the profundity and it had been so clouded that it was just a memory I was li living on memory but not experience yeah. so but it's the idea we never had an awakening but we have appointed ourselves to be an expert on awakening on what that's like exactly yeah, yeah. Right. it's yeah. unbelievable we do it yeah. prior to awakening yeah. we are an expert on our awakening. Yeah. I've never witnessed one. I've never, yeah. blah, 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 you know, never, never had one, but I'm an expert. Can I, can I share something about that? Um, so after awakening, uh, you know, an awakening experience, a clear seeing, whatever, it seems like the same thing can happen where we become an expert on what awakening is like because we had this experience, right? And there were these you know, these, you know, there was a, you know, whatever, a relaxation, a joy, a peace, or whatever, these side effects, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then we become an expert and we say, okay, that's what, that's what it is. Oh, man, right? tell me. And then I want to get back there, right? And I, it's not here, it's not, you know, if, if there's sort of, yeah, w whatever, if experience is not aligning with, with preferences in any gross or subtle way, um, then it, the assumption is, Awakeness is not here, right? Or, or I'm not awake. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, which of course is true. Um, yeah. Right. The me. Yeah. Is yeah. 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 Awake, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, right? Truish. Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, everything's um, truish. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the me. You know, the so yeah, yeah. They, can't be awake. Exactly. That's that's just right. simply what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Exactly. 
And so there's a re-identification with the character and there is a, a dispreferred experience. Mm -hmm. And then there's this conclusion that awakeness is not here, mm -hmm. right? And I want to get back to those really pleasant feelings mm -hmm. that, that I just associate with seeing the truth because mm -hmm. I feel good. And I can get so caught up in those, I can get caught up in so much in those associations yeah. that, that I will, that I get wrapped up in the spiritual experience and completely and, and care less about awakening. Yeah. I had a guy some years back. I had, I had one recently, as a matter of fact, that I I read it, said, I, and I told him, I said, you, you, you need to learn to, to, you need to be ready to live as clarity yeah. because I ain't waking you up again. Right. I mean, that's the truth is that you get it and you, you, you stick with, but your, your, your joyful da that I experiences are done. I'll talk to you, but I'm not doing the, I'm not doing the magic <laughs> stuff on you anymore. Right. right. And the, yeah. the, I'm not those chiropractic moves. No, sir. You're going to have to yeah. do them yourself. And because we get, I mean, you can see people. It's just, we, we're all addicts. We're, we're addicted to yeah. separation. Yeah. And, and so because we're addicted to separation, when awakening occurs, it's just like this. Yeah, totally. and then it's like, oh, 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 my character totally. wants another one of those. Yes. Please, another one of those, another one of those. Yeah. And we can get so confused by that experience. And, and I did. I got so confused that in, that in post-awakening, I read Byron Katie's wonderful, wonderful book, which everybody needs to read, A Thousand Names for Joy. And, and I read that book, but I misunderstood her experience. And, and I went, oh, I thought I, I, thought I woke up. Uh, but, man, now this is what waking up is like. Right. But yeah. the other part is part of that is that she had a very, very, very bright awakening. The, yeah. You know, and just incredibly bright. And yep. the other thing was that I misunderstood what she was saying. Exactly. Writing, because you can't, you can't actually fully get that book yeah. unless you're awake. Exactly. You can get yeah, a lot out of it if you're not, but you can't fully take it in unless you're awake. It's just hilarious that you're talking about this because I had just such a similar experience of, of reading that lovely book, um, you know, in sort of different, very different kinds of places and that, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> we were talking about a thousand names for jokes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and you're bringing up denial. Yeah. It sounds like, right? Thank you. Yeah, and I went through denial and of, of awakening. I certainly did. Yeah, and you did it too. Oh yeah, and and this this was I think a really potent aspect of of our relationship is um, you know it is this is sort of the value there. This is a tricky area, the confirmation piece. Yeah, you know, because it's like who 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 wants confirmation, right? Right. Because then it's like oh I woke you know oh I woke up. Yeah, right. Um, but there's something about when there's, when, there, it, when there's clear seeing, having that confirmed and having that encouragement to stand as what you are, mm -hmm. right? To stand as what the I is. Mm -hmm. um, the stability that that can bring, it was, was just, was very much a game changer. Yes, right, exactly. I can remember the first time uh, that I ever talked to Ajashanti was with his radio show. And my question, the question, and I can see it now, of course, is that it was, just, it was in a question that would only come from an awake being. Yeah. It's just not going to come otherwise. And the service and, question, right? Yes. The service question. Yeah. And the, and which was, how how can I be of 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 service more service to awakeness or whatever? And it was, and it just it ain't different coming, question. Right? That's a yeah. different question. Yeah, and yeah. and he knew immediately, and he and he and he treated me as an awake being immediately, and that was just oh, it's like taking a warm shower. Yeah, and then the next time he and I talked, he did the same thing, and it, and, and 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 it continued like that, but. It's the same. It, was, it was incredible. It was an incredible blessing because it was like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm right. I'm, I'm, it, this, it really has happened. Yeah. yeah. And, um, 
Yeah, and that brings stability. And the funny thing is, so that was at the beginning of, of 2010 that I talked to him, and it was the first time I really got confirmation. But before 2010 was out, I had woken up half a dozen people. Right. I mean, I just went from, uh, you know, I know I'm awake, but, 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 and, and, and to, to the fact that there was enough going on here that people began to, right after I told, I, or right after, right after I seen Aj and I decided I wasn't going to be a teacher, people started waking up. So yeah. just to prove me wrong. Perfect. And, right. Yeah. And it's confirmation can be a really big deal. Yeah. Um, one of the thing that, we were talking about the power of the inquiry mm. and the, the, the inquiry gets, you know, it, it gets to the very heart of things immediately. It's, there's no, there's no foreplay. It's just like, let's dance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. And it's so that, and there's, and there's, and there's really, there's no, there's no perfumey mysticism yeah. around it. I mean, it's a dull job right. until you, until you really understand what you're doing. That's right. Um, and so as long as I'm blowing up Byron Katie, let me, let me tell everybody that, that her, um, her Byron Katie's the work is excellent for clearing. Yeah. I'll leave it at that, but it's excellent for clearing and post awakening. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool. It did me wonders, lots and lots and lots of good. And it, and it, when it does something that, that she forces you by using paper, she, she, she forces you to, to actually do the exercise instead yeah. of shortcutting the exercise, which is, you know, she, because another form of inquiry is, is it true? And this, that, and the other. Yeah. And what we do is we jump to the bottom. We said, well, I, you know, if I do inquiry on that, I'm going to see. Right. Right. Through right. It, da, da, da. right. We think that that's done and it just isn't. Yeah. It's the actual process of doing the inquiry. Is it? Yeah. No, I, I was just going to say, you know, the, the belief is not just a, a, a thought thing. It, there's an energy to it, right? When a thought is believed, there's an energy to it. And what we're really talking about with inquiry is not just this sort of, you know, intellectual process. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think a lot of people don't, don't get. It's piercing it, the bubble. Exactly. Yeah. And piercing that, that sort of, uh, that energetic link between the sort of the thought and belief, you know, and the, and the, the energy of belief. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's so easy to bypass and say, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I've had an awakening. I know that no thoughts are true, but, but, it's but it's like, am I willing to pursue the sense of this belief, the yeah. sense of the truth of it, right? right, until it pops? And do not get caught up in, well, who's doing inquiry if there's yeah, no right. one here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the that's not inquiry. Right? Advisor yeah. philosophy can be like putting on a concrete jacket. Yeah. This, yeah. This, this, it's not about the philosophy. It is about the 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 ex, the experience of it. It's about the living of it. The and living. Is the living is a is a living teacher. Yeah. It's yeah. and and that's just like the living method. That's what that, yeah. I mean, the whole idea is that it's not static. There's nothing. There's nothing static. It's all aliveness. It's all alive because it's all aliveness. The so one of the. the in, in line with the, um, with the inquiry comes something that I start with, which is the power of noticing the sense of being. And this, I start most sessions out with that because it immediately establishes You, you have you have the experience. So, so the tie-in here is that with inquiry, the thing that's doing the inquiry is already awake. That's right. And it's a matter of noticing that it's and of it finding that out. Exactly. So and with the sense of being, when I start a session with that, I've actually got somebody recognizing their true nature in the first couple of minutes of the exactly. session. Exactly. Yep. They just don't know it. They, but they're they are recognizing it. And the rest of the session is really about the acceptance of what's already been recognized. Yeah. yeah. And that, yeah. that's what, that's what I, what I, what I just love about, you know, about your teaching. Um, and, and the, um, the, you know, the orienting piece, um, 
where, you know, and then it's sort of compared to different non-dual pointers. And, you know, it's like, um, because there can be that sense of presence. But is it real? Is that sense of presence, does that sense of presence see the, the nature of itself? Right. That it is not separate right. from, from appearances. That it is, you know, whatever, you know, whatever we want to say about it. You know, how clearly. And we test that to reinforce yeah, the right. acceptance of it. That's right. Right? We, just, we, 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 we ask questions. We look at non-dual pointers that have never made sense. Yeah. And, and if this is true, shit, this night, it makes perfect sense now. Right. And, and so does this one. And so does this one. And all of these pointers suddenly, they're, they're clear as a bell. And we realize it because the idea is that, is, is that, we, is that there's this, this, the ego is so protective and it will shy away from evidence of the truth. It will deny the truth right in front. It's 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 like it's too pot, obvious. Like pots on politicians. Right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let let they remain nameless. Let they remain. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, like it's, the, right. They just deny it. Right? Yeah. When it's staring them in the face. It's and too and obvious. It's too obvious. It's, it's too ordinary. It's too obvious. Right. John Klein used to call it your nearest, and uh, you know I love that emphasis yeah. of of. Of, of really focusing on the acceptance yeah. of it, yeah. right? That's it. Because yeah. it really doesn't take long. I mean, it's not difficult to come to recognize your true nature. I helped, like I, told, I already told you this, but I helped a guy yesterday, and um, a seeker, you know, years, all of his life, they, um, and um, uh, a lot in common with me. And I usually get a five-minute story up front and for some reason, I let this guy to run to 15. I don't know why. I just, you know, because I don't do it. I, you know, I, I comb my hair and come to the computer. That's what I do. And, it, the, and so, so, but he, I let him talk for 15 minutes, and I got to, to feel that really well. Yeah. And 25 minutes later, 40 minutes into the session total, he was awake. Yeah. And he'd been on this thing for all of his life, and he was just like, oh, but it was because he had, you know, he had all the preconceived notions and all of that, and he could just see oh you and you know that big brain always looking for the secret handshake and that that's where this relation you know our relationship has been uh you know also really powerful is that that experience of presence that experience of you know of pure formless aliveness mm -hmm. um was was sort of a familiar one mm -hmm. but what what was the invitation that you know was extended was to 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 see the sort of the full implications of that, to see it, you know, in sort of all of its clarity and to accept the seeing of it. Yeah, accept the seeing. That's where the emphasis is, is, is on, the, on the acceptance. Because, you know, the, if, that, if that guy who woke up yesterday and brilliantly, and we spent another 50 minutes together helping him yeah. orient to awakeness, and I mean, he was as clear as a bell at the end of it, but if he doesn't do follow-up and everything, that clear as a bell is almost surely gonna, nice. gonna disappear. It's just, it's just the way that it works. So it's, well, I want to say something here, which is that we're talking about you, because you keep referring to how my teaching has affected you. But the first session we ever had, uh, it's the reason I knew that you were the guy. And it was, is that, that, is that what was here was just reflected back just so clearly. And, I, and it was just like, you know, and we went through the session and you got a lot out of it, which was right. great. But I knew just the end with, that what I was meeting, what I met to begin with, you were awake when you got to me, of course. And it was, and I knew that. And, it, but see, the, the great thing is notice something, folks. There was the humility to stay on the path. And, 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 and so as a result of that, by coming and saying, you know, and, we were able to go further and further because we're not, because you're not settling. Yeah, no. And, and, and um, yeah, that's really, that's really touching. And I find um, that, you know, that, that continues because the, the truth loves itself. The truth loves itself. The truth loves itself. It, it surely yeah, does. It's it just so deeply in love with itself. And that's yeah. what happened is that, you know, I, and I look at the way that we smile and everything and it is, the, the the it's almost like two lovers exactly because Absolutely. it's just like oh, yeah. oh right totally. i mean it's it's i can see i mean i can 100%. see how all that stuff happens 
And yeah. I, I felt great affection for other teachers and stuff, but I never felt more affection for another teacher than I do to you. And it's just because it's so it's reflected back so very, very clearly. Yeah. So the um, it's there are no undertones here, folks. <laughs> 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 but you know that's how it is but yeah. that is but that is how it is and we were talking about another friend of ours chris and it's very much that same thing yes. which Absolutely. is that is that is that it's reflected now chris has gotten as a result of um just to mention it as a result of his life falling apart <laughs> Chris, or looking like it was going to, and it, yeah. you know, it looked really shaky for a little bit there, and and it was through that that it was through that, those bad times, and I just and I and I helped him see this is the opportunity to surrender to a, a to to a hitherto unknown degree, and as a result of that, he's become clear and stable, and he had there was so much context there, and he woke up years ago with me. I mean, you know, yeah. two, three years ago, but it was just always oscillation, oscillation, oscillation. And now you don't catch Chris in isolation much anymore, right? Yeah, isn't, isn't, that, a, isn't that amazing? You know, the, the, the hard times are... That's what teaches us, right? Is that the, the wor- we find out that the very worst thing that happens to us can end up being the very best thing, but it's a question of timing. You know, it sucks right now, but the blessing is the curse. Yeah. Right? The curse is the blessing. So... And I know that there's, um, I just want to share, I heard this story recently of, um, you know, some Indian saint who used to pray for, for um, adverse life circumstances. Yes, yes. Because that's when I know you, right? You being God, right? That's right. Yeah. And that's, that's the orientation that emerges. Yeah. When, the, when the power of, of that, you know, is really seen, there's just this, okay. I whatever, can, whatever I have to go through, whatever has to happen. On a night that started something that was a couple of years back, that was just really, it was just a really ugly situation in my life. And when I first got word of it, I, I was sitting right here and Betsy was right there. And I looked at her and I said, let's just remember that we don't know that this is not the best thing that ever happened to us. And it's the truth. You know, you can't know. And, and by simply noticing that I don't know. I don't know. I mean, my, my experience that this is, ah, yeah. doesn't really hold water. I just don't, I don't this, know. Because, this shouldn't be happening. Yeah, this shouldn't be happening. I mean, I, all I could notice was, you know, that it, that it was. And, my, and the truth is, is that these terrible things have taught me so much. Yeah. And they did bring me into a, into a greater independence of my, yeah. of my teaching, which was necessary. You know, and I, I see that now. I was kind of on board, trying to stay on board with everybody else when I wasn't really doing what they were doing. And so now I don't have to even pretend to do what they're doing. So um, everybody, please welcome Kenton. And um, well, he's going to be back. We'll do more of these. And um, I've, I've, I've got, you know, I've got really a bunch of awake students now. And I'm going to bring a, a few of them a, along as well and have conversations with them. But I'll always be coming back to Kenton and um, I welcome you to this teaching. I love you Thank very you. much and I'm very grateful to have you. Right back at you, buddy. I will see you uh, soon. Yeah. Bye bye.